came over, I had to see why Maria was giving this pig this much attention. That's your last free rub now. That's your last free rub. Here's our old Kentucky Blue Roan, uh, uh, Japanese beetle, I believe is the name of these old albino species of, uh, goldfish here. What are y'all looking for? Grasshopper, he no. was black when he was bigger. He was black, he was in his area right Uh-huh, and then he jumped on my arm. Mm. Well, he'd have been good for you for Ranger. Ranger looked like he was hungry in there. Guys, a tank is not complete without the proper feeder fish. And uh, these old shiner here, where well, they do a lot of reproducing, and well, sometimes I think I'm shiner Sam, if I just be honest. Sometimes I think I'm shiner Sam. Oh, wee. Look at this fancy fella here. Mmm, fancy as all get out. There's another white one. Y'all guessed it right. Well, cross the creek. And, uh, yeah, we back again with another one. Well, on today's episode, we gonna dive right in. Uh, not gonna be too homesteady. Uh, with that being said, guys, we gonna jump right into aquatics. Um, we setting up our, well, our Kafara knockoff is what we setting up. Uh, Maria's gonna help me set up, well, some of the tanks and all. We gonna get some of that stuff finished. We are gonna show you. Well, we're going to transport some of the fish. And uh, y'all going to have to be patient with Maria and I. Well, lately she's been a little snappy, and I've been snapping back. So at the end of this one, y'all decide who won. Uh, let's get it right into this thing. Before we get into that and them koi and goldfish, we gotta feed them animals. Y'all know that. We gotta get some current out of here. Well, first area we gotta feed here. We got to feed on a lot down home. Extended stay. Uh, we're gonna make our way over. I'm, I'm out here jamming, y'all. Let me see if I can get that off. We got to feed home. Extended stay. I got to get you a rendezvous. Well, uh, we got some two newcomers in here. I know y'all see them already. Right there. Well, that's old Sarah playing the tall and old Whitehead. Two sisters there. Well, old Whitehead there, well, she's out late one night and she snuck out the pen on us and Maria captured her up. Well, we got on trying to escape, so she had to get in here anyway. And uh, her sister there, old Sarah playing the tall. Well, I warned her three times. I told her to be quiet. I didn't want to hit her with a disorderly conduct, y'all. I didn't want to hit her with a disorderly. And, uh, but she wouldn't be quiet. She just kept talking and talking and talking. Well, Maria deployed the taser on her. And she jumped up, jumped on top of Maria's head. And woo. And well, when she done that right there, uh, I hit her with that old baton. And I, I wanted to shoot her, but I didn't want to start a protest in here. But uh, we got her finally arrested. And Maria took her down. And I was able to check and make sure they didn't have anything on her. We Mirandized her. And, uh, well, she'll be here to stay. She's got felony charges on uh, trying to elude there. This one right here. That one. Right there. There she is. I ain't talking to you. There she is. She's felony eluding charges. And, well, she'll be in here on a third strike. Extended stay. Let's get the others. Y'all ain't kidding. That old brown here in there where she put up a fight. Well, sort of like the fight I put up last week with my power company. Woo. Y'all, they sent me a bid. I don't believe it was mine. Let's get in here and get some more. I want to take y'all to another area here. Well, oh, Goose Pond. Well, we take this corn up here every now and then to the ducklings if they decide they want to come in this time. And, uh, well, we put it all around this pond. And they, uh, well, they come in and sop it up. Sop it up. There they are right there. Let's see if they have any interest in this thing. Well, my ducks didn't come in the goose pond today. Well, that's a little weird. I look over here, and well, it looks like they eating, well, goat intestines and stomachs. Well, I don't know if you guys saw my last video. Well, we had a family come in from old Bangladesh. Well, if you missed that, we'll put that in on the follow-up of this one. And, uh, well, they got after a couple of them goat weathers. And, uh, well, them ducklings right there say, Goat weather still tastes good leftover. But uh my ducks didn't come in the goose pond today. Well they had other plans, but uh either ooh, well we didn't want to see y'all anyway. But uh either way I've got to get back over here and well I gotta feed my chickens back over in the old silky pen. Y'all here's the silky pen here, and every time I get ready to come in here, well I struggle to get in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unlatch it and well let myself in 
turn around and latch it myself. And uh, well, I'll tell you some, uh, well, some new and improvised plans Maria and I got with these guys. Well, like I was saying, guys, Maria and I got new plans. Well, after seeing that old Bangladesh family come in and get after it the way they did, well, Maria and I, well, we considering. Ooh, y'all look at this old. He can't figure it out. He said he don't like this new enclosure, and it looked as if the current was on this side. I'll get out there and move that then. But I was telling you guys, well, Maria and I, well, we got extra motivated, and we decided, well, we might blow these old silkies out, well, and start putting these silkies in crock pots. Especially old loud mouth walking down through there. And, uh, well, old ugly tree here. But, uh, she's got this old gold one here. That's flip. And then the blue one over there, right there. That's old flop. Them and their sisters there. And, uh, well, we got a couple others, but they moving so fast, I can't show them the units. Let me show you guys Elvis. I'll show you guys one more and I'll let you go. That black guy. I just went on around. Let's see if we can get him, guys. There he is in the back there. He's behind old Flip and Flop. Coming up in your screen right here. And the why I named him Elvis, because he got that old haircut. Y'all see that haircut. Uh, he said he want to come back around. Let me get out of this way. He might come back around and eat. Oh, yeah, he say he'll try, but he don't know. Come here, Elvis. Well, Codeine ain't got Elvis. Whiskey ain't got Hank. Let me get on up out here, y'all. Maria's wait on me. I can't stand here clown with these chickens all day long. Maria and I have been struggling to get them peacocks to come out. Well, them peacocks know them grasshoppers that trap, and they say that's what they eat out of. They say they'll come out for up. Well, they say he spoke too soon. They headed back in. I'm going to get in here and feed these guys up. And, uh, well, I'll explain to you well, what you're looking at here. I'm going to let them out for them right here. Well, hoping that's light enough for you to see. I'm gonna step back off of maybe you guys get a good look at them. We've got these peacocks moved in here. Well, reason being is, well, they needed more space to branch out and, well, uh, spread on out. These guys are starting to spread out a good good size on them. Well, they're about the size of those chickens now. And, uh, well, they rolling that thing down here. They say, while you're doing all that jaw jacking and talking, you can mind open it, they say. They say, well, you shake one or two out of there. They say, what's taking so long? They said it shouldn't take you this long. You got twins. Woo. Let me see if I can get them out of there. Well, them guys there found one. And they said, you got any more of them guys? Oh, they said here's one. They'll take that. And, but uh, we got them in here. And we hoping that the more time they spend in here, well, eating these grasshoppers and, uh, well, uh, eating that fresh grass and eating some of that chicken corn. Well, that fresh corn out the garden. Fresh garden corn. And, uh, well, we hoping with that being said, well, they get enough of these guys to swell on up and get good size. But uh, that's it there, I believe. Well, they said we out short. Uh, Y'all, that's Ranger right there. Ranger said, yeah, it's cheap again. He said, you could have got the good stuff. Uh, Ranger ain't scared one bit. He said, he'll meet y'all, and uh, he don't care nothing about subscribing, none. And uh, he said, even if you don't subscribe, we're still going to cut up on this thing. Uh, we're going to make our way back out of here. Hopefully, these guys decide they want to follow us up. I don't know. So what y'all gonna see the Maria and I do, we gonna bring those fish in here like we promised you guys. Try to keep that sun out of it. And uh, the boys out here now, and we gonna use some of this wood you see in the background. And well, we gonna see if we can put a lip on this thing and start running water in it. I don't know how to reverse it. Take it in reverse, some slap in there. Are you coming in today or tomorrow? Skylar, what do you think? Does it always take mine this long, like in the grocery stores or, you know, getting ready for things? Yeah. Longer than this. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's watching this thing heard me tell her to reverse it in here. And, uh, well, well if she, that don't look like reverse. <laughs> we got here, like, catch them all. And, uh, well, I told Maria, well, them are some imported koi. And uh, she act like the Dollar General Walmart koi. You're going to let them die over. Like and subscribe. She's giving y'all a little dance on the way out of there. Well, we're going to get this thing uh, reversed in here. I'm going to get a camera over to Skylar. And uh, once we start pumping that water out of there, then what we'll do is well, we'll let you see each one of them. I might tell you a little bit about each one and tell you what kind they are, too. All right, so we're going to pump our water in. We're going to pump some of the water that they're already accustomed to. I got DJ going to plug this thing up, and uh, CJ going to hold the hose for me. Plug it up in there. He got it plugged up. Let's see. There he is. He's pumping that. We're we filling this up with some of the, 
some of the water that you're already accustomed to. It's gonna have a good ammonia balance and nitrates on that thing. Don't you think, CJ? Yeah. yeah. And we're gonna bring them ginseng. We got some ginseng corn we bringing in here. Uh, we got some, what kind we got? We got some Shinshoa Mimasa corn shipped in from the Great Island of Thailand. And, uh, well, we try to get them guys acclimated for a lot of that old tank there. Well, they've been in the medicated tank, as I told you guys watching this thing. And, uh, we're gonna get them dropped in this one here and uh, let it translate on up. So, but, uh, we've got uh, floating live plants in here, and uh, there's some driftwood in the bottom of that thing. And uh, so I can pull the fish out there and let y'all see them one at a time. Here's our old Kentucky Blue Roan uh, uh, Japanese beetle, I believe is the name of these old albino species of uh, goldfish here. These guys are great populators, and uh, well, they live good in earth habitats and ponds and all. So, I'm gonna walk them on in here. I'm going to show you guys where we're going to be setting him off at. And uh, we'll see if he likes the place. Name him. Maria wants me to name him. Uh, I might name him Kentucky. I don't know. He's junk enough I can come up with something. I'll let you guys know in the next episode. Let's get the next one. Same breed as the other one there. Um, this guy was imported with him. I don't know if they're brothers or sisters. I don't know the sex of them yet. But uh, he's got that orange patch on the top of his head. I might call him Orange Patch. I don't know. Let's put him in the water here. I'm gonna carry him on over as well. DJ, we need to help you name this guy. Uh, I'm gonna drop him in, but uh, maybe one day you help coach. See that orange patch there? He's worth the name. Let's put him in there. DJ said he ain't got no interest in no goldfish. He ready to get out here and get after it. Double, double up, double up. Here's one core here. Uh, solid white, looking good there. He's a platinum Ogon uh, Shinshoa crossbreed. And, uh, we're hoping this guy be the male and he'd be the one we put on the others, but we don't know. We're going to walk him on over and uh, hopefully he turns out to be a male. This is our first core in, I believe, so far. He said he don't care nothing about whether you think he's a male or not. He said uh, he'll be whatever he identifies as. Guys, a tank is not complete without the proper feeder fish. And uh, these old shiner here, where well, they do a lot of reproducing. And, well, sometimes I think I'm shiner Sam, if I just be honest. Sometimes I think I'm shining and saying, see that old bad side of there, DJ? Yep. Well, what we gonna do with him when they break a bunch of babies? We gonna start putting them on the glow sticks. See if we can wrap them slabs. Get some more. Y'all, I finally got the escape artist there. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna name him, but uh, this here's one of my favorite. He's got that old blue color in him. And uh, well, I think he's fancy as all get out. Hmm? What you think we ought to name him, Maria? I don't know, but he's grown a lot since he's got here. Yeah, he has. If he keep growing, he's gonna be flathead bait. I think I might name him flathead bait. Set him off for you. Ooh wee. Look at this fancy fella here. Mmm, fancy as all get out. There's another white one. Um, I believe there's a couple more we gotta catch up. Uh, well, he had a lookalike um, at our last homestead, and well, her name ain't Asia, folks. I can't tell y'all that. But uh, I don't know what I'm gonna call this guy. Let's try him out anyway. Double up, double up. Time to double up. <laughs> Whoa, he trying to get out. He said he ain't staying long enough to meet none of y'all. He said he don't care nothing about it being an aquatics video. And, uh... It's your fire! Whoa, CJ said he gonna take him out. Let's drop him on you What you think about that, DJ? Mm -hmm. I might name him Trizolation, too. Let's put him down in there. I might name him Get Out Foot. Huh? I might name him Get Out Foot. You might name him Get Out Foot. Here's the last goldfish here, and uh, it's easily the smallest, I believe. And, uh, well, I don't know if it's struggling getting feed, or maybe it's just be a female, I don't know. But uh, it's doing well, got good energy. Skyl, I'll let you name this one. Spots. Spots, baby, I think you name everything Spots. All right, get on in there, Spots. Spots, there y'all. We get this thing filled up. Uh, Kind of dark in here. Skyler's getting on to me. She said I ain't want the electricity yet uh, to the old building. And uh, well, we filled it up nonetheless. Uh, this will here be a uh, thousand gallons, another thousand gallons. And, uh, well, we're gonna build up some steps and stuff around, like we did the other one. People were sitting in and all. And, uh, what you want to put in here, Skyler? Garden bass. Mmm. Empty something. She says old spider bass eat on these pork. I don't know. I've been thinking about some red tail boa catfish. No, uh, maybe a white, uh, what's it, great white shark? Mm. Yay! A dolphin. I got a few things on my mind. Well, 
it's filling up good down there. I know you guys can't see that, but once it gets up in this level here, well, you'll see it. You'll see it. I don't know if we be in this or that because I don't know how long it'll take us to fill this thing, but uh, I'm gonna get back to work and uh, we'll stay after it like we always have. I was making my way over to the garden and uh, well, she's always saying me a lullaby as I come on in. Well, my guardian angel right there, she does an old saying and tell me it's okay to enter. But, uh, well, you guys saw us filling that tank up. I don't know, honestly. We may run out of time. Well, before we could even, uh, get that thing filled up on this episode or not. I don't know. May make you come back and, well, catch another one next week. I don't know. But, uh, you tell Maria that. Well, if any of you see out in public, well, you tell her that's the reason we can't grow any potatoes. Woo. Speaking of which, well, shout out to Rachel on this one. And, Rachel, if you happen to catch this one. Well, I want to tell you right now, well, I got a whole supply list to send you, well, of things we need right here for the infrastructure of this place. Woo, I can't even grow a decent crop because the chickens come in and, well, they want to get on my crop of beans I got there. Well, shout out to my brother, Stick School and Vision on this one. Well, I gave you the roll tide colors. Well, it's going to be a tough season for them, but, uh, well, I hope it's an easy season for you. Woo. We're going to get back to the tank, but uh, I wanted to make my way up here and check on this okra. And, uh, well, it's starting to come out of the well. Come out of the well. It's all the way to the end there. And then another one there. Maria and I, what we're doing is, well, we're planting fall crops um, in the garden here just on dirt. And uh, what we want to do is get that soil up underneath the air rate. Well, never mind. Y'all, this ain't no garden video. Well, I appreciate you guys coming with us on this impromptu video here. And uh, normally we do a Sunday morning upload. But on this one, uh, well... I wanted to make a video moving the fish and the reason being is well those fish grow up so fast it is easy to keep footage of them as fry on out and uh i figured i'd take some of you with us as well and uh well we've got some comments some of you guys like some of those kind of videos and some of you don't and if you don't click through it or well, if you like it well hit that like and uh well catch another one just like it but uh i can't stay too long guys well that old football band starting to crank up over there. And, well, they're going to interrupt my commentary. And I got to go check on this tank. Well, hopefully I ain't blew out a sidewall with too much water like I did the last one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>